In this demonstration, we're going to see how to get started entering your very first project in RHVAC. First, click the File menu, then click New Project. If this were not your first project, you could copy data from one of your previous projects. But since it is your first project, select Blank Project and click OK. The General Project Data window opens by default when you start a new project. The first thing you should do when you start a new project is to save it. Saving your project in the beginning makes it so you won't lose all your work if something goes wrong later, such as your computer losing power or crashing. Once you save your project the first time, RHVAC will maintain a temporary file that will let you recover most or all of your work if something ever does go wrong. To save the project, click the Save Project button in the toolbar. Next, on the General Project Data window, enter a project title and your name as the designer. Then click the Client tab and enter the client's name and other information. Then click the Company tab and enter your company's information. Since this is your first project, all of the company information is blank. But on the next project you do, you can start with all the company information already filled in by using the New Project dialog to copy default data from this project. The same goes for most other kinds of data, such as the design conditions and the default room data. Next, click the Design Conditions tab and enter the first few letters of the city that you want to use for your weather data. In this case, Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. Press Enter and the program will search the weather database for the first city that matches the letters you typed. If it didn't find the city you want on the first try, you can scroll through the list and find your city. One thing that makes RHVAC so easy to use is that almost all the inputs have a drop-down help window just one click away. Often the drop-down help will include a list of suggested values that you can choose from. It takes one click to display the drop-down help and usually just one click to select one of the suggested values. Next, you can click the duct sizing tab if you want to change any of the default parameters for the automatic duct sizing that's built into RHVAC. Thank you for watching this demonstration of how to get started with your first project in RHVAC. Please feel free to call us for more information.